interpretations. Um, we missed that somehow in fish. We had it for chromosomes, we missed it in fish, and it's nice to see that it's coming back again. Um, I do have a question related to that. Those folks that said that they were ethically concerned about that, um, I have a question regarding is the IRB um, an issue here because you're going to change diagnosis or you're at least recommending them to think about changing how they've reported that and the significance. And secondly, as an educator, I just want to pr propose that as we educate folks to por perform this technology, we also continue to educate them on what chromosomes do. So the cytogenetic portions of genetics, let's not lose it because it's important to the interpretations that go on. So, so your second comment, I agree completely that even as the technology becomes increasingly molecular, I worry that the molecular genetics people don't always have adequate cytogenetic training in their background to interpret appropriately the mechanism, recurrence risk, et cetera. So there has to be cytogenetics expertise involved in the appropriate clinical interpretation. Now, the first part of your question, I'm not quite sure if I understood it. It was about going back to update clinical reports? Yeah, so the IRB issues around all of this is quite complicated in every institution, every IRB has a different opinion. When we're doing this solely as a clinical diagnostic test, IRB is irrelevant. IRB only applies to research. But of course, for my main goal in doing uh, this kind of clinical testing project is to also get consent to use the data for research to improve our interpretations going forward. So we always have a mixture of full consent IRB versus now we've used opt-out mechanism in most of the ISCA project and there's information about the opt-out consent mechanism and little toolkits to give to your IRB uh, in order to get an IRB approval, which usually goes through uh, a fairly expedited review process because it's, the samples are being obtained for clinical purposes. Uh, you can use an opt-out to say uh, de-identified data is going into a database and there's no mechanism to uh, re-identify that particular individual patient in, on the research side, although the clinical lab has its normal mechanisms about staying in contact with referring physicians and families in your healthcare system. I actually don't know if we have time for, I could take this offline. Um, one of my main things um, when you say that uh, G banding and, and cytogenetics is going to absolutely prenatally um, within a year or two. Um, what worries me is a, the legal aspect, if there are mistakes, um, what are patients, do they get genetic counseling ahead of time? Is that going to be part of the requirement in order for them to be able to understand what these results are going to be? Um, is all that going to be in place <laughs> um, as far as um, and, yeah, well, and figure, cost, figuring out, I mean, people can sue for anything and juries can no, decide. No, if they terminate a pregnancy, I mean, if they terminate on the basis of this report that's coming out, that's, a, yeah. that's something that's going to um, make a big hoopla. Yeah, I mean, I think the numbers that I'm showing you are the ones that we know are pathogenic CNV, so Angelman syndrome deletions, Smith McGinnis deletions, Miller Deeker syndrome deletions. I don't worry oh. about okay. being wrong in making those predictions. Those are things we can't see by karyotype, so the alternative is a bigger worry. You will be sued for not doing chromosome microarray and missing an Angelman syndrome deletion within one to two years from now. I, I, I absolutely applaud that. I'm just worried that the people aren't counseled ahead of time. That yeah, I mean, obviously all of us in genetics would say counseling is critically important. Right. Karyotype shouldn't be done and chromosome microarray shouldn't be done without appropriate genetic counseling. Unfortunately, we're not in charge of how right. obstetricians behave, so. We need more counselors. Yeah. Thank you again.
We're going to move on to our, our